Hi everyone, welcome back to New Wave TV. My name is Paul, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Intel 510 series SSD, and we have the 250 gigabyte version here. All right, guys. So first, we're going to take this out of the box and show you what comes with it. To get nice and specific here, the model we have on hand is SSD SC 2MH 250A2K5. And uh, I should share with you guys that I have already opened this and ran a few quick benchmark tests, which I will share with you in a moment. There's the SSD itself. We'll move on to that. Intel has kindly provided you with a nice little installation kit, as well as a Speed Demon sticker, so you can put that on your case or wherever else, maybe in your car if you want to get some traffic tickets. Uh, here's a little Intel Serial ATA Solid State Drive Instruction Manual, and they've provided a mini CD with some drivers, and uh, possibly the Intel SSD installation guide and warranty. Oh, it's also got the Intel data migration software, which is a quite handy program. If you guys are interested, check that out. Intel has pretty good utilities for their SSDs. Along with the software and the documentation, they've also provided you with a adapter bracket, which is kind of wedged at the bottom of the box. There we go. So this is a pretty simple 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch adapter. If you do not have 2.5 inch slots in your computer, you can use this to mount the SSD on top, and then you can mount that in a 3.5 inch base, so you're nice and secure in there. They've also provided you with a serial ATA cable. It's got the little clips on there, so that will be compatible with serial ATA revision two or three. And they've also provided you with a power adapter. So if you're using this drive in an older system that's got, for instance, no serial ATA connectors, uh, no 2.5 inch drive, you should be pretty well set. And then uh, just the bolts necessary to mount that, uh, mount the adapter to your case, and the bolts to mount the SSD to the adapter. That is pretty much everything that comes in the box. Let me move this stuff out of the way. Let me keep my notes handy. And here's the SSD itself. As mentioned, I have already opened this. That's why the seal is broken. We get our anti-static bag. Silica gel, don't eat that. And there is the 510 series SSD itself. Uh, it has an interesting finish. I haven't seen anything really like this. It's almost got sort of a gold or bronze sheen to it. It's got a little bit of a sandpaper feel, um, but definitely a nice finish. We can see our mounting points on the bottom as well as on the sides. And at the bottom we can see that the drive is assembled using standard Phillips head mini screws. Uh, here we have our label with all of the pertinent information. Again, this is a 250 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, the connection here at the back for your data is Serial ATA Revision 3, which is up to 6 gigabits per second throughput total. Uh, if you install this drive and format it NTFS, you'll get 232.8 binary gigabits of usable storage. Uh, and as far as the out-of-the-box rated speeds, this can hit up to 500 megabytes per second sequential reads, up to 315 megabytes per second sequential writes. And finally, just to talk about the hardware that's under the, uh, the exterior of the drive here, uh, it is based on a Marvell 9174 controller. That is the 88SS9174-BKK2 Marvell controller, and inside is MLC NAND flash memory, and that is 32 nanometer NAND flash memory. Finally, the NAND flash memory in the drive is rated at 5,000 program erase cycles over the life of the drive. And as I alluded to earlier, I did have a chance to plug this SSD into our test bed and run a couple quick benchmarks using Crystal Disk Mark and AS SSD. So let's take a look at the results. So here is our Crystal Disk Mark 3.0.1 test. We ran through a quick 100 megabyte test three times. And here we have uh, our read column right here and our write column right here. This is sequential read performance. We can see we got 370.5 megabytes per second for reads and sequential writes 227.6. For our 512K performance, that's 512K chunks, it is uh, performing at 303.4 megabytes per second and 217.4 megabytes per second reads and writes respectively. When we, jump, when we drop down to 4K uh, block sizes, we get 21.19 uh, read megabytes per second and 45.2 write megabytes per second. And finally, our QDepth32 tests, which uh, pushes a lot more towards the server or enterprise level testing is 82.13 for reads and 51.61 for writes. Uh, one other bit of information that you can only see 
when you pull up the actual uh, text output from Crystal Bismarck is our input output operations per second. I will direct you guys down here. And here we're seeing random reads, random writes, random reads, random writes. Sorry, let me, let me go back. Here we're seeing random 4K reads, random 4K writes, and then random 4K reads at QDEP32, and random 4K writes at QDEP32. And there we can see the input output operations per second. Um, these lower numbers here are really only lower because of the Q depth. When you jump up to Q depth 32, you're really actually stressing the drive out and getting a lot more towards its maximum rate of performance. And we can see uh, at Q depth 32, we hit 20,000 input output operations per second with random reads and 12,000, uh, just under 12,600 input output operations per second with random rates. Up next here, we have our AS SSD benchmarks. Uh, again, we have similar results from our Crystal Disk Mark tests for sequential reads and writes, 364 and 222, for 4K reads and writes, just under 19 and just under 42 megabytes per second, respectively. And uh, I like AS SSD, AS SSD because it shows you your access time. We're at 0 0.2 milliseconds for read and 0 0.085 milliseconds for writes. Overall scores for AS SSD were 132 for reads, 113 for writes, and 314 overall. And that pretty much wraps it up for today's overview of the Intel 510 series SSD. Once again, this is the 250 gigabyte version that we have here. Hope you've enjoyed today's video, and we'll see you next time on Newegg TV.